Hello and welcome to my demonstration today on EBA. So today I'll be showing you how we can use EBA for banking and financial services. So EBA is our business automation platform and it is used for document and workflow management. So it is also a web-based web system and it is also user-based. So you can access what you're supposed to based upon your position, profession, department, and group. So after we log into the system here, we have our main dashboard. So here we can have a quick access to some of our documents for approval, as well as some of our last visited documents. And we can also access some of our favorite documents right from the dashboard. And EPA also has a notification system to get your latest announcement right on your dashboard. And on our left here, we have the four main modules in EBA, which include the document management, records management, workflow management, and the dashboard module. And we also have some applications here. So as you can see, we have EBA has a lot of applications available from production management, project management, sales and marketing, legal, finance and accounting, as well as HR. So just to give you an example how we can manage one form, we can go into the HR application and go to expense declaration, and we can go into new record. And just to give you an example here, we have an expense claim form. So we can input the certain criteria on it, such as the global, global ID, the date, the requester, as well as the email address, along with any other expense details, such as we can input the type of expense along with the date that it incurred at, as well as the currency amount that it was incurred at, as well as the expense amount and any description that we may have for the expense, along with any bills or receipts that we can add as attachments. And once we fill that out, we can come back in here and input any other notes or attachments, and then we can simply send this form out. Now, on our left here, we have the workflow or the flow scheme for this particular form. So we have the creation of the document by the flow starter, then it will be then sent to the manager. And the manager can then either approve it or if they need any other information, it will be sent to the flow starter and the flow starter would then get a notification about this. And let's say they were to approve it and the amount is less than 500, it would then be sent to the finance department in this case and the finance department can then either approve it and the user will be notified and they can then export this to an ex PDF file. So we can always manage this workflow the way that we want to by adding or editing any of the specific details. And now if you go into some of the modules that we have here in EBA, we'll first look at the document management module. So the way this module is set up is that we have these different libraries and in these libraries, we have our different folders and in our folder, we have our documents. So EBA has a built-in browser that enables us to view our documents. So here we can view one of our documents. So up here, we have some other functions for the document, such as we can download the document, we can edit the document as well as send it through mail, also take any notes and annotations. And then we also have our versions tab here to view past versions of the document along with any new versions. And we can always select the ones that we want to view and add any other version that we want. So here's a document right here. And then we can also take notes on it. So for example, if I go to new note, I can add a description. And then I also have the ability to control who is able to view these notes depending upon the user and role. And if we come back here, we also have an option for security. So with this, we have the ability to control who is able to do what depending upon the person's role, position, profession, department, and group. So we can give certain access such as viewing the document, downloading the document, printing the document, modifying it, and so on. So we can either allow or deny access. And along with that, we can also send an external link of the document along with, we can see the history of the document. So we can see who was the last user who accessed the document. We can also see when 
the action took place along with the specific action that was taken on the document. So in terms of security purposes, it's a very good feature to have because we are better able to monitor this, the activity on our documents. And then the next module we have is our records management module. So it is very similar to our document management. However, this document can, can consist of completed documents, such as, for example, any invoices that we may have, some human research documents, finance documents. So if you go into the finance library, for example, just to show you an example, we have some tax notices. And as before, we can always go into the folder and view the specific documents that we want. And that is how the records management module functions. And next we have our workflow management module. So here we can have access to some of our documents for approval right here. And we also have a notification system here to be notified, as well as we can see our sent items and any messages that we may also have. And then lastly, we have our dashboard module. So here we have a clearance dashboard. So with the help of this dashboard, we are better able to view some of our KPIs, such as our number of lead employees. Um, we can also view it based on transaction-based transaction user, as well as the duration-based user performance. And we can also see the closed work order accounts. And we also have a mobile application available for EBA, which I will show just in just a minute. So here is our application. So we can log in here. And here it is. So as you can see here, we have some quick access to some of our purchase orders along with some others. And we also can see some of our approvals here along with any notifications that we may have. And on our left here, we also have a quick connection to our workflow management module along with the applications that we have. So we can go into, for example, let's say, finance and accounting. So here it is. And that is how the app functions. So we can, we can also see some of our history and some other applications here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other questions regarding our other applications, you can do so by going to our YouTube page. Thank you.